In this video, I am going to attempt to demonstrate some common sense science about dry poured concrete, even though I went like this. This is the dry poured concrete, and this is wet poured or traditional just concrete mixed in a bucket with water right over here. And this is dry poured which basically means I took some high strength concrete mix, just like this. I put it in a glass bowl. In the last video I made in this dry pour concrete series, uh, which I will put links to the other videos I've made about this in the description section of this video. But basically I took some standard uh, concrete mix. I filled this bowl and I misted it and let you watch in real time over about less than an hour as the water absorbed and that was it. I let it set for what's going on almost two weeks and this is still not the right one. This is the right one. <laughs> Basically the finish on this one um, and let's just take this out and get it out of the way. This is the one you watched me make in real time. Ah, shit. It's slippery. All right. Let me, I'm afraid I'm going to break the glass bowl if I drop. These things are really heavy. So, obviously, this one I poured with the dry pour process. You can watch the whole video about it. I just pinched my finger and it's going to bleed during this video. Okay. Um, and then after I let this set for several days, popped it out and I poured another one. This one was, you know, done the proper way. And they've both been setting for quite some time. I do want to show you how kind of beautiful they are, to be honest. But uh, we're going to test the strength of them the strength of them with just a good old fashioned drop test. I'm going to uh, climb up this ladder. If I can balance myself, I'm going to drop these. And that's just going to be the beginning of just, I guess, trying to find out if one is significantly stronger than the other. I have no illusions. Look how pretty this is. I have no illusions that mixing concrete, the way it's supposed to be mixed properly, is stronger than dry pouring concrete. What I'm not sure about is how much stronger or if it even matters. Because let's be honest, if four inches of concrete with a certain size rebar is, is strong, wouldn't four and a half inches, wouldn't five inches, wouldn't a little thicker. Stronger and stronger and stronger is kind of like, what's the point? Stronger and stronger and stronger. Yes, everything can be stronger. The common sense scientific question I'm trying to ask is, is it strong enough? Okay, so let me move this table let me grab these very heavy orbs. Mm. Kind of pretty if you put them together too. Look at that. They feel very, very strong and solid. The one on my left has a texture to it. The one on my right, I texture, you know, I made a little, little flatter so I could tell the difference when they were done. If you would like to look underneath, they both look... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm not even gonna mention it. But if you wanna look at them, I'm just holding them to my body so they don't fall, seriously. They're gonna smash my laptop. They both look pretty great. But what happens if we go with the good old fashioned drop test from on top of this ladder? Oh boy. Now I haven't tested these in any way and I'm kind of doubting 
very seriously if either one of these are going to break. However, we kind of came here hoping they would do something fun. And let's find out together. In the left hand is dry poured, uh, cured for about a week, week and a half. Same with this wet poured traditional concrete. And here we go. I gotta be honest, from here, not only did they hit hard and thud in a very reassuring way, they are not damaged in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> Either one of them. So, how strong is dry poured concrete? So far, strong enough. I say we gotta take this up another level. I'm gonna drive my van over top of these. What I'm thinking is, put them in the yard, right underneath the van wheels and drive right up on top of both of these. I'm getting, I'm feeling actually much better right now because honestly, I wasn't sure what would happen either. But let's go get the van and see what happens next. Man, these are solid. All right, so here we go. Let's run over these things with my van this one here is the uh, traditional poured, wet poured, cured for about a week, little concrete orb, I guess, half of an orb. And this is the other one that I dry poured that's supposedly going to be falling apart all the time and cracking every which way. Now, I got to be honest with you. I don't really know what's going to happen here. This is a lot of force, a lot of pressure. Um, it wouldn't shock me if they both cracked. Um, but we're going to find out in real time together. And since I'm driving the van, I don't have Tony to help me out today. Uh, and you know I've tested this stuff in many other ways. I've driven trucks on this stuff and poured several slabs in the old backyard, but here we go. Good Lord. I want to be watching and seeing what you guys are seeing so bad. Oh, can I see this? Ah, oh, shit. Well, I can feel it. All right, here we go. Just let me know. Yell at me. Is it pushing them forward or are we going up? We're going up. Oh, shit. Something starts spinning. Hold on. Something crack. Something crack. Ah, that one's okay. Nope, hasn't cracked yet. It just kind of went sideways a little bit. Let me push it back under the wheel. This time I'm going to go up on there a little faster. Hopefully I don't run over the camera. Here we go. Just going to gun it a little bit. Shit, this feels dangerous. Ah, here we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That feels pretty damn good right there. What happened? Oh, shit. That's so perfect. That is dry poured concrete right there. That could just pop. Doesn't even have support on the edges, just in the center. Neither one of them are popping. The tire is up on there. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just drive straight over top of it and we'll pull them out and uh, inspect them. And I'll tell you what, as far as our common sense science experiments going, I mean, I'm just gonna have to say they're both pretty damn strong. And let's see what happens now. I'm back in the van. Put foot on the brake. Well, I didn't run over my laptop. This is the uh, this is the wet port concrete. Let's go see what happened over here. No guarantees. Is this dry port? Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. 
slid it through the grass. Oh my God, I'm really happy, happy with this. So I gotta tell you, I've fallen in love with these little things, to be honest. I had every intention of taking this hammer and smacking these and busting them apart, just like your average old piece of concrete. Look at that. Concrete breaks. That's just laying in here forever. But this dry poured and wet poured, handling the weight of my van, surprised me. Throwing it off the ladder, I thought it'd be funny, but I actually thought it might break up too. I, I believed, I believed too many of you experts out there. I have literally poured with your basic 60 pound bags of cheap, generic, high strength concrete mix. I've literally poured one, two, three, four slabs in kind of different ways. All of them feel incredibly solid. I am in Florida, so I'm not dealing with a lot of thawing and um, freezing and thawing. Uh, and I'm just, I, 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 I don't really understand why everybody's freaking out that this is such a weak process. Maybe it's not as strong, but I have to ask you, for a walkway, for a shed, for a pad, for an outdoor building, for a shed, for a sandy soil that's super compact, for a fun experiment worth doing and sharing. How can we say this isn't strong enough? So I'm gonna save these. I'm gonna keep them as little stepping stones. And maybe someday I'll bust them apart, but I just don't see the point. As far as I'm concerned, they're both strong enough. <laughs>